look at how long that's been growing through those fences and trees you know it's amazing how long this material has been here and how much flower and bud it's carried and the council's been driving past this continuously and doing nothing about it you know <laughs> this would be this would be anywhere from 15 years old to 20 year old lantana no problems at all looking at that either that or the soil's incredibly impressive which it doesn't look like it to me but um, you can't always tell what nutrients they are getting um, what level they're getting them you know you can't even read the signs like the lady said from correctional services there that's who yelled out to me um, you know and said about it not to go on the property um, but you know you can hardly read the keep out signs it's that bad within that area but the flower in there is quite extensive and the amount of flower uh, unripened fruit and then ripened fruit is extensive but you see how each plant keeps throwing new plants some of them will be on runners some of them will be brand new plants and like this little guy down here he's a new shoot there and a heap of new shoots just emerging underground there and you know it, it it's damaging the uh native forestry which is just such a terrible 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 thing when you look at the levels of it and you're trying to uh get action to be taken all of that's ripened fruit you know ready to fall on the ground and be washed away because it floats in the uh water courses you know so hopefully at some point correctional services will you know return the phone call and make the contact to find out what you can actually do about it and get this material cleaned up because the material just flows downstream you know the consequence of this and this has been known by councils forever and they just gave up on it they just said we're not doing anymore because the premier lowered the classification so that allows us to be able to turn our backs on it but this once was a was a place that was looked after and then this is the result but you have a look at the consequence to the other side of the road and it's very easy to tell how this just propagates downstream you know like you look at the lantana already growing right on the edge of the road oh, that stuff's even growing through the bitumen as you look at it there and it's flowering and propagating and doing a wonderful job and you just keep looking across as it keeps going and then it just propagates downstream through the rest of the rest of the vegetation and it all starts you know from across the road hitting the water courses and then being uncontrolled you know it's um quite staggering well look at that sign <laughs> i mean you know come on premier you know come on brisbane city council i mean i i addressed the mayor um in yeah in the council chain like the chambers and address the entire council and they say that's that's acceptable i mean it's illegal to how are they stopping releasing this stuff into the environment i mean what measures can you see any measures that they're containing this material can you see any measures where they've cleaned up this material and that's one of the places that we absolutely have to um deal with this because there's a huge loophole in the biosecurity act where if somebody comes along and they go well you know what i started cleaning up and i did you know 20 plants or 50 plants then the question would be well i've started so then i can stop and i don't have to worry about it you know at all whereas you should have to do at least um 30 percent per year minimum on these materials and actually be able to physically show that it was 30 percent of the mass because you know you look at that what i've shown you and the seeds floating and then you put the seeds immediately into drainage systems like that and then flush them across there so you can see when you look here what the outcomes of that is immediately like it isn't even off the edge of the road and the material is already seeding with unripened fruit ripened fruit and flower buds on a plant right there and then there's another one and then there's more here more there more there and then you just go down along the watercourse there as it flushes out of the uh, drainage 
and you can see how far and widespread the levels of the infestations are. Look at the unripened fruit here. This one's just finished flowering, so he'll be making new flowers now that we've had that rain. And the, um, the ripened fruit like right here. But this stuff just floats, so once it hits the water course, it's gone, it's gone downstream and it's propagating across everybody else's property miles from here, you know. You do realise that the government um, is aware, it's in their own books and uh, literature, that this material moved 2,000 kilometres in one uh, event in 2011 and then around 2016 the Premier lowered the classification on it. Look at that plant growing there. All of these guys. In one event, it travelled 40 years into the future and covered 2,000 kilometres, and that's on government record. That's their, their own statistics. Same as the numbers are their statistics. You realise materials growing on the sides of a road like this are propagating at 6,000 new plants per year. So for a single plant like that, growing on the side of a road illegally, it's propagating at 6,000 new plants for that one plant being there. Every time it gets 25 mils of water off that roadway, okay, it sets a new set of seeds. So here you see you've got ripened fruit, you've got brand new flowers ready to make fruit, you've got unripened fruit, okay? So these plants, 6,000 would actually not be the correct number because they're just in a perpetual motion of consistency constant propagation and when you look at that from an environmental disaster point of view you have to wonder how the premier lowered the classification on on australia's worst invasive weed according to the top 10 universities in um in australia look at the buddy fruit on this guy unripened fruit we can do this forever unripened fruit unripened fruit brand new buds being flowered ripened fruit mixed with some that are just about to ripen and you look at the scale of it and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of plants in that property across the road and it just continues for nearly a kilometer i would say along there and they've spent nothing on it in decades and the council are supposed to inspect these properties can anybody tell me brisbane city council are supposed to it, when they find lantana like that growing wild like that they're supposed to go to the property according to the premier this is directly from the premier and it is their responsibility to go into that property to investigate to then hand out a breach notice if lantana is increasing on a property then it is um, considered a breach of the biosecurity act and a breach notice must be issued against the the person that is responsible who would that be and yet you look at these plants and they're 20 30 years old and what the council can't identify lantana camara they don't understand the rules regulations and laws around the biosecurity act you know there's a conspiracy between each and every one of these entities that says that they must um, abide by the biosecurity act and the fact that they're